Uh, okay, I, I've been asked to say a little bit about the filling station. Um, it was started about four or five years ago by a friend of mine, um, Richard Fothergill, and the number of filling stations uh, around the country has grown uh, quite substantially, reasonably rapidly. It's a very good ministry for um, people who are isolated, particularly in rural areas, uh, or where they're just looking for a form of uh, worship and ministry which uh, isn't re readily uh, available. We find that clergy uh, uh, who um, get rather drained or feeling less than they need to go to a place where there's they can just put their feet up and be refreshed and, and there's uh, quietly there's quite a lot of them and they come along too. We find that about 40% of the people come have no uh, connection with church but it's, it's a way back into church and uh, so it's a meeting once a month in secular space, uh, midweek um, and some, some of them are the most unusual places like uh, golf clubs or uh, very unexpected places but anyway it's a chance to uh, worship uh, and uh, hear a good talk and to have responsible prayer ministry and we're just finding a lot of people meeting God in this way and that's the, that's the key thing and that's why I think it's it's expanding so rapidly. So I'm the Associate Director for the South West and uh, I'd love to have a chat with you about uh, starting one in your area if, if you think that's a good idea and we can just we can just explore that.